G'day Gemini, welcome to TJ Tarot Down Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. See what's going on, hey? So I've changed up the readings. They're going to now be just focusing on the energy coming towards you as I've had some negative energies coming in and sort of sabotaging some of the signs. And so that door's closed. Um, we're just going to focus on the love energy coming towards you. It's a shame, but yeah, it's just the way it's got to go. All right, so thank you all for your likes, shares, subscribes, comments, views. Every single one of them is greatly appreciated so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, the decks I'm using today will be listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them. All right. I must say, it has been nicer just to focus on one energy than trying to juggle between two. But, anyway. I'm not feeling so exhausted, actually. <laughs> Alright, give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. bit easier to do 12 energies rather than 24. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Uh, there will be a message for you at the end from a uh, soulmate deck that I have for a message for you from the universe as well. So I haven't forgotten about you. <laughs> but you know your energy and you're here to find out about what's coming towards you. So that's what we're going to focus on. Okay. So they have you deserve love. You are lovable. They have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And they have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So they're seeing that they deserve love, that you deserve love. They have done their self-work and they're loving themselves first. And they want to enjoy some time with you. Mm. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Release your ex, the time has come to clear your energy. Trust, this situation is calling for you to have faith and pass on. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. <clears throat> there could have been some childish energy that they've had to release here. Which was calling, causing them trust issues. In regards to expressing passion. Hmm, okay. Alright. Hmm. Let's find out. Oh, it's gotten cold here all of a sudden. Hmm, very chilly. Alright. Well, colder. Tell me about you deserve love for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. It was before I started your reading that the chills, <laughs> the coldness came in. So it's nothing to do with the energy. Okay, Queen of Swords, your energy and the Emperor. Mm. So they're saying that you deserve love. <clears throat> You're very loving energy if people can get past the sort of truth. Um, yeah, they see you as um, someone who deserves love. And someone who is very in control of themselves. But that they also want to come correctly towards you in the best possible way energy they can come in. Self-control, self-love, deserving love, bossing up here, coming correctly, bossing, uh, bossing up, I'm hearing, hmm. 
Four of Swords, they've done a lot of healing within themselves to realise that they deserve love. And they see you as someone they can get that love from. Four of Cups, Three of Swords, King of Coins, and Ace of Coins. <clears throat> so, yeah, they've offered love to before and taken up possibly missed opportunities that have caused them heartbreak here by not realising they deserve love or taking opportunities that didn't give them the love they deserved and caused them a lot of heartbreak. They are looking for something stable and committed here and something that starts with a stable beginning. <clears throat> so they are looking for stable love. Not fleeting love. Tell me about love yourself first for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Two of Wands. Your self respect makes you more romantically attractive. They're at a bit of a crossroads about this self love, about loving themselves first. It's like they're not sure if they should do it. Not sure if they can do it. Um, which brings me back to the Emperor of them having to try and control themselves here. When it comes to you. They could maybe seeing that you, they think you might be able to be the one to help them feel like they're in control again and heal them. I don't think they think that they can love themselves here. Yeah. yeah, they're not sure how to um, emotionally fulfill themselves here. At a bit of a crossroads about how to do that. The Fool, the Nine of Coins, another single card. Mm. The Sun, and the Nine of Wands, another nine. Three nines here. Mm. With the Fool, I'm feeling like they... It's very new to them, this self-loving... They feel very stable and grounded and independent. But this self-love is something that... I don't think they see it clearly because there's a lot of wounding that they're... It's hard for them to see through that. See clearly the self-love because of the wounding that's been done to them that they haven't healed from. Tell me about Honeymoon for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Did something flip? No. Tell me about Honeymoon, please. We've got the Knight of Wands, hmm. the King of Coins, the Ace of Coins, and the Three of Coins. Uh, enjoying that bliss of holiday time together. I think they see that passionate action here is, you know, a bit of a holiday fling is the way towards something stable here, a stable beginning. And then they'll put the, then working on things, working on something with you. But um, 
the pat yeah they're coming in with this you know this time you know temporary time together is passionate action here thinking it will lead to commitment with stability and work being put in oh, i don't know mate i don't know if that's really the right way to approach this yeah they're still wounded and still a wounded warrior I think lacking that self-love is causing them to <sighs> I'm getting shame off this card which I usually do Yeah, they think passion is going to lead to a commitment here. Because they, they're they not really sure how to show, show themselves love. And there's definitely wounding here. Mm. Queen of Wands, Five of Wands, the Sun, and the King of Swords. There you are. Yeah, I think their confidence has been hurt here. They're very conflicted about love and passion. I mean, Queen of Wands, Queens are loving, are about the water element with whatever element they are. And this is, so this is emotion and passion. I think they see emotion as passion here, and that's just what causes a lot of fights here. Causes them a lot of conflict within themselves and within, with other people. They do see happiness with you, but they're really conflicted about whether you're going to see their passion as love. Mm, yeah, I think that child card is a bit of that immaturity. Well, it's just, a, it's a, not in a negative way so much as they just haven't, don't understand it yet. Sure, the temperatures really dropped. There's a heater going, but it's just gotten cold. All right. Okay, give me three cards to the love energy coming towards Gemini, please. What else can you tell us about them? Yeah, that's completely understandable I know what that card is I'm pretty sure I know what that card is okay if it's the card I think it is because there's another card that's a color too but yeah it's what I thought doubt I release the need to know all the answers surrender I can release my need to control got release here twice and purpose, I know what I am here to do. <sighs> I think they have doubts about whether they deserve love. Um, and doubts about how to love themselves first. They're really trying to stay in control here and they need to surrender that. Their purpose is to get stability with somebody, but I don't know if they're approaching it the correct way. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. Denial. I acknowledge my fear, but replace it with the insight of awareness. Failure. I understand that a mistake is only an opportunity to learn and trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yeah, they've got something they need to heal here, this guilt and denying themselves. Yeah, seeing themselves as a failure here, not trusting who they are and 
what they deserve. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. I'm quite, they're struggling quite a bit here, this energy. <sighs> yeah, they're lacking confidence. They're feeling like they don't understand. deserve love but they just are trying to control it too much rather than healing the reasons why they feel they don't deserve love loving themselves first and like having that self-respect is a really hard thing for them to understand here they're not sure how to do that all right Tell me about doubt for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. Page of Wands. Wow, they're even doubting their ability to communicate passion here. Yeah, doubting their maturity to even communicate passion. To even flirt. Yeah, Eight of Swords, they're really tied up in their head about their self-value here. Really feeling stuck. Really feeling like their hands are tied. A lot of doubt with this person. A lot of doubt. There's that Queen of Wands again. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Five of Wands again. <sighs> yeah, it's their self-confidence that's in doubt here. They're really confused. About. Themselves. I'm not feeling emotionally fulfilled with anything. Possibly somebody's walked away from them and that's given them all these doubts about their confidence here. They're so conflicted inside. Really conflicted. Really struggling. Strength card and the Nine of Wands, yeah. And the Ace of Cups, yeah. They haven't given up on love, but again, that's that Nine of Wands, that Wounded Warrior energy. Really having to find the strength here and courage to have love. An Ace of Cups can be self-love. It is a one. <coughs> hmm. Tell me about surrender for this love energy coming towards Gemini, please. <coughs> Sorry. The Empress and the Page of Cups, yes, yeah, this is how they feel. Well, they know they have to release this control. They need, the, they know they need to surrender and speak of love or and self-love, because again, this is self-love for anything to grow. I think it was this way. 
Yeah, they know they need to surrender and love themselves. Surrender to that. The emotions, even just the beginning stages of these emotions, if they're to ever grow. I mean, you start as a page, you work your way up to a knight, and then the queen and the king. Like, you start young. This is children. Could have been a mother figure. Yeah. Four of Wands. Yeah. Then, yeah. They need to surrender and release the need to control their emotions here if they are to grow. They need to start. I mean, they're going to they're gonna have to start at the beginning in order to get to feeling stable about themselves. There's only one person here. I think they need someone who is in Empress mode, to guide them a bit. More as a friend there than as in, well, a loving motherly figure. The Devil, the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Six of Coins. Yeah. They know that what they're offering, or, you know, what they've dealt with has been something toxic here. And that's always ended in disappointment. They don't know how to get themselves balanced here. They know that it's not right. I don't think they're on toxic or anything but I just they know something's not right because they've got so much doubt about themselves tell me about purpose for this love energy coming towards Gemini please this is really different from what I thought it was going to be about not that I really knew what it was going to be about but the hermit well, the purpose, they know what they have to do here. They need to go within and do some self-work here. And see that star within themselves. Excuse my nails, they're broken. Broken. They do that once they get too long. They break. <laughs> um, yeah, but they need to go within and do some... See that light within themselves, because I don't think they see that. They see their purpose is to find their way out of the dark. But they need to know that they are the light. Their own light. I don't think they see that. Yeah. The purpose is to find that self-love. Nine of Cups. Emotionally fulfilled on your own. It's not requiring anybody else to fill your cups. Two people at Nine of Cups will make a Ten of Cups work because it's not required for someone else to fill your cup. Yeah, the purpose for them here is to go within and do that self-work, find the light and see their worth. Seven of Swords, that's the plan. Um, Ace of Coins, Four of Coins... And the death card. Yeah, but they could be lying to themselves about... Feeling stable on their own, ace again. And that's holding them back from transforming. Because they lie, they lie to themselves. They tell themselves they're not good enough. Hmm. 
I just think there's things here that they they want to be loved. They know they deserve love, but they're not sure how to love themselves here. They want to spend time with you, but they're coming in with passion, expecting it to turn into a commitment here. They doubt their own abilities. You know, their abilities to speak of their passion. They're really stuck in their head about this. Wanting to surrender and open up and show that love so they can grow and become more stable or have something stable with you. Their purpose here is to find out about themselves and, yeah, find that self-love. Feel their worthiness, which no one else can do that for you. Honey, you can feel that within yourself. Others can make, you know, help you, but... You know, they can tell you all those things, but if you don't believe it, only you can change that. Mm. Alright, give me at least three cards for the love energy coming towards Gemini. What else can you tell us about them? Is that two? Yes, it's two. Alright. One more, please. At least one more. Thank you. Alright. Ooh, we've got lots more. Okay, let's put that over here. Oh, my nose is getting blocked up because it's so cold in here. <sighs> oh, karmic relationship, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. Yeah, and this is what they need to, this is the, I think they've dealt with some sort of karmic relationship in the past. There's lessons they need to learn here. And to let go and love themselves. And I don't think they've worked that out yet. It's a karmic lesson for them here. I don't think it's really something you can do anything about. Heart with the key. Welcome me, love. Meeting the one. Open your heart. Getting together. Perfect. I mean, this is what they're searching for and they're looking for with you. But there's something they need to let go and love about themselves that they're not understanding. Yeah, they haven't learnt yet. Engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. If they're looking for the right thing, I know what they want. Boat, receiving what you need, see? Progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. And this is the problem. They've got closure issues with something in the past. That's holding them back from receiving what they need. What's going on here? Yeah. <sighs> Not today. Not dealing hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary still angry. Um... I think they're still angry with something in the past because they haven't set up boundaries for themselves. They could also be angry with themselves here. But they don't want to deal with it. Not today. They don't, they, it's something they don't want to look at. Chaser. Hmm. Chaser in a codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. This is very much the energy I'm feeling here. Very codependent. Very much fears of abandonment here. Possibly they could have been abandoned. It's a problem for them because they don't feel that they deserve love. They have trouble loving themselves, seeing this, uh, their own self-worth here. They could have very likely been abandoned. It's horrible. Okay, bottom of the deck, I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun, flirting, want to date. Palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, flexibility, 
Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. And twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. So, there's no doubt about it that they do like you. They like you a lot. They see you as someone that they want to be stable with, grow with, have some permanent relationship with. They see you as someone who likes spending time with your friends, you're happily single, living in the moment, having fun. They see that beautiful stability within you. This is what they like about you. Um, You know, and they see you... Well, they see your flame burning very brightly here and it's very attractive to them. And they wish they could be like you. Be the twin of you. They admire you very much, Gemini. They want to be like you. Mm, okay. Let's see what they have to say. What would this love energy like to say to Gemini, please? At least three cards. Okay, we got them. We got more than three. That's all right. We have. I love you. I think they do. Um, they love who you are. I don't doubt that. I'm single and ready for love. Um, this is what they're saying, but I don't think they are. I don't think that, you know, they're, they're single and they're ready to receive love. But I don't know if they're ready, really. I bury myself in work to forget you. Yeah, they bury themselves in work or other people or things to forget about the issue that they really need to look at here within themselves I mean it's just a normal human trait there's you know it's an issue a codependent issue I'm feeling from a karmic relationship that they haven't learned about the lesson and they distract themselves from that Yeah, they need time to heal. They do need time to heal. They know that they need to take time to heal. But they try and distract themselves from that. You feel like home? Yeah, you do, Gemini. You feel like a beautiful, stable, loving home when they're with you. I want you back. They they want you. They want to, be, you know... They, they want to be, they they always want to be back feeling like this with you yeah they now know what they lost they know what they've missed out on now and they're so scared they're going to get hurt that could be why they yeah they're so afraid of being hurt again they're so afraid of being well abandoned again Whether it was a physical abandonment or an emotional abandonment, just from a karmic relationship, um, yeah, it's something they haven't healed yet. Mm, just be careful. Be careful with this one, Gemini. I don't think they mean you any harm, but just, yeah. They're they're very vulnerable, and I'm not saying you would hurt them or harm them in any way. They just have a lot of self doubts here. Just so just be careful, because um, if it turns out you're not interested, they may you know help create you know create an unhealthy attachment to you. So just be careful. 
All right, let's see what the universe has for you as a message to you, Gemini. All right. Love message to Gemini from the universe, please. One card. Oh, there we go. It is only normal to miss someone who is dear to you. But remember, love knows no separation. You may be physically apart, yet spiritually you are always united. Those who love, those you love are forever present in your heart. Oh, that's nice. Okay. I'm feeling this is a pet. You've been separated from, um, 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 won't be for everyone. I'm feeling this, this is, um, yeah, I'm feeling a pet of some sort that may have left you um, to go on to the next life. And, um, yeah, you might be feeling, yeah, yeah. I'm going to leave it there because I love animals <laughs> probably more than humans. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, the other message for you is love generates love. You will receive positive confirmation of this in the next few days. Keep on loving and you will keep on receiving greater, ever greater blessings in return. Ah, oh, the universe has got you back. Just, yeah. Love generates love, so keep on loving. And hey, if you can show at least some stability of love and support even if it is like a parent you know not a romantic to help this person you know just being the support there for them as they go through this they know they need to heal something here perhaps just being that support that they need as a friend a loving friend this could be all this, what this um, person might need. All right, well, that's your reading, Gemini. Mm. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.